Hello, friends. Welcome back to our Courageous Leadership with Virginia Pradhan. I am your host. I'm glad to be here with all of you. Welcome back. Or welcome back. I'm glad that you are coming from all over the world. Uh, our podcast is every Wednesday, uh, the Saturday at 10 o'clock Central Time at 10 o'clock. You can listen on uh, podcast, uh, Podbean, Apple uh, Podcast, Eddie Fee, and of course, you can watch it on uh, YouTube channel. We love, we love to um, have you and have your questions and uh, have your concerns sent to us so we can respond to um, your questions and everything that you might have. I was reading today uh, Psalm um, 108, 13, who said that oh, we will win every single battle and God will defeat all our enemies. So I was thinking about this, and I was thinking about the fact that many of you um, are people suffering in your business, in your community, as uh, there are so many things around us trying to constrain us, to restrict or discriminate, and even... Um, persecution uh, coming to America, uh, persecuting us for our religious belief. And for that reason, I was uh, thinking about sharing with you and encouraging you that it's time for us to embrace, embrace, teach, and empower ourselves first and then others to walk in God's freedom and provide to many the right tools to fight against this spiritual battle and tyranny that is developing in America and all over the world. If you look at the new reality here in America and accept this hard truth, you might be encouraged that you need to um, look up at God that he will fight for us and with him we can dream and with him under his wings we can uh, fight and let him fight through us to win the victories for us. Remember that muscles need weight to grow. Brains need problem to develop. Spirits need hardship to see the unseen. Why? Because there is no strength without resistance. So under our current circumstances, our faith will grow if we remain faithful to God and let him win those battles through us. That he will direct us what to do and how to do. And also he will give us his perspective of the reality that is around us and directions and how to um, win those, those battles. Following his direction, we will be victorious. We will be able to live a life, uh, a victorious life, a life of significance and success, investing in others and being successful, not only in our lives, but also in the lives of others. I encourage you do not let fear overcome you and destroy your life. Refuse to say, I will do it tomorrow. Sounds familiar to you? Many times we say, oh, that, that is something, maybe someone else will do it. Oh, I will do it uh, some, you know, some other time. If you continue to do this, your life will never be used for the pro purpose intended by God. And that is a sad and almost absurd way to live. Many people are waiting for a better time or for others to create those changes, to speak up or to participate in this process. I advise you to look at yourself as I look at myself, the skills and purpose life, uh, of life God gave me in order to live my life according to his, his uh, purpose. Under those circumstances and even coming persecution in America, 
which persecution is around the world in many places. From my own experience, I can tell you that the best sermon is not by speaking, but by living, living your faith every single day. Yes, I should be dead, buried in an unmarked grave in Romania. Many of you maybe read the, the book, Saving My Assassin, is my memoir that described my life in Romania and the socialists and communists. But obviously I am alive, God had other plans. And God's plans was for me to be a tool in his hands because he created me and the persecution and the socialist Romania to dream big beyond my imagination and circumstances to attempt great things under God's direction to change, to let God change me and change America and Romania in his power, no matter the cost that I have to pay. My powerful story of God's story in my life can be yours if you allowed God to do this kind of work that I allowed him to do, not only in Romania, but here in America. And God wrote his story in my life, each chapter, long before I scribe it into my memoir, Saving My Assassin. He is the hero. I'm not. And he has done everything. And I hope you reading my memoir, listening to me on this podcast, you will be encouraged to know that God requires only our obedience. He will work in us, change you, change me, and change America back to to God. Yes, my tongue is a pen of a skillful writer, God. As Psalm 51, 1b says, God helped me to do great things because I allowed him to use me as a tool in God's hands. My uh, journey with God includes indeed trial, tribulation, cruel persecution in socialist Romania, and rebuilding my life here in America, raising three kids as a single mom, now successful adults, serving the Lord as my first daughter graduated from from SMU, my second daughter from Harvard Law School, and my son from United States Air Force Academy. And all of my three kids are serving the Lord. It is possible, and I hope you will be encouraged. You will be motivated to understand that in this world, even darker and darker that is coming to America, God is sovereign and he can do amazing things in your life. My work also in my journey with God includes defending freedom and truth now in America as an ally attorney with Alliance Defender Freedom or as a host of Courageous Leadership with Virginia Pradhan podcast, training you and many to live a life of significance and success, or speaking and sharing his story around the world, coaching and equipping many people around the world and much more to be obedient to God, to let God use their lives as a tool in his hands and change them and change Uh, the country they live in, uh, be victorious in Christ. God is still writing my story, and he wants to write your story too. Let your life be so visible that it's lived for Christ, his love, care, sovereignty, and peace. So this ungodly culture will be fascinated by the real God that is in you. And one day, people will ask you about the hope that is in you. And do it now. I advise you to do it now when the darkness is not as dark as possible because you don't have, you, if you don't have the time now or the courage to do now uh, and do it right, it will be harder in a situation when you will be forced to do it under harder circumstances. Don't wait for others. Do your part 
and don't say I will do it tomorrow. You know, it's that kind of familiarity that we all go through. Recognize that the biggest troublemaker in your life is you. You are the procrastinator or you are the one um, you know, being fearful and never experience the power of Christ when you stand up for him even if you have to pay a price for standing up, how Christ will guide you and make you victorious. Be strong and courageous in Christ. Speak now before it's too late. God will change your perspective of your circumstances. And as you look in the mirror, remember you are God creation. You are a victor, not a victim. Never. The culture wants to keep you a victim, but you are a victor in Christ. It's time to take the instructions from God. Dream with him because he has a big dream and a big plan for your life. And to fight this spiritual battle against the tyranny here in America. Stand up. Speak up. Live simply with God. And I promise you, you will be victorious. Love generously yourself. When you make mistakes, pick yourself up. Put your hands in God's hands who will help you to go back and to try again to find and win with God. Care deeply about your life purpose because you have a purpose. You have a pulse. You have a purpose. You are here for a reason bigger than yourself. Think about your kids, about your community in America. And dream big with God. Dream that will change America in in God's hands as he fights for us and we will win against our enemy. Speak kindly the truth and live your faith openly Now, do not be afraid of the culture or others and encourage others to do the same. Leave the rest to God. You will be amazed what he will do in your life, how he will strengthen your faith, how he will make you a strong and courageous leader. Most of the time, remember, it gets down to using common sense God's common sense. Be encouraged. Those who walk with God in Christ in their storms of life will shine brightly and brighter and brighter in his power. Don't you want to have that? Don't you like instead of fear, instead of uncertainty, to shine brightly for Christ instead of fear to have faith, strong and courageous faith and be able to encourage others to. With God, we can change the culture we live in and even the world. You heard, you heard it before. You became, you, you became who you spend time with. So my advice is first, spend time with Christ. You have a Bible, you read the Bible, you read and learn who you are, a sinner, and how much you need Christ and who your God is. And when the circumstances come around you or the culture to fight against you, tell the giant in the culture how huge and how big, how sovereign is your God. Spend time with Christ and you will become like him and he will change you into the person that he created you to be. So in his power, you will be transformed and you will have the transforming power that you need to have in order to fight this fight in, in, in the culture. A person of light in this darkness. A person of love and charity in this culture of hate and selfishness. Yes, you can do that. I assure you, 
I have done it and the Lord helps me to do it again. It's nothing special about me. All that is special is the Christ in me. I'm obedient because I know who I am. Just the normal people, a selfish, sinful people in need of uh, redeeming Christ. So I am a person of hope, courage, joy, mercy, grace, and compassion because he breathes, Jesus Christ breathes that hope, courage, joy, mercy, grace, and compassion in me to this cruel, divided, and joyless world. And the world needs to see more Christians that will have and or will be people of hope, courage, joy, mercy, and grace. So be one of them. God made you for more than you see in the, yourself today in this world. You are here for an absolutely amazing purpose. Let God change your life in a way that you cannot even imagine. Your best dream for your life, it's rubbish compared with what God's dream for your life is. Be encouraged that nothing is forever in this world, not even our problems. The tyranny and the evil one can have a temporary power if we allow it to, to grow. But God is sovereign forever. In Christ, we are more than conquerors. We are soldiers in Christ's army. We are soldiers in the army of a sovereign God who never lost a battle. Proverbs 21, 30 says, There is no wisdom, no insight, no plan that can succeed against the Lord. And I am a living proof of that. I hope that you are encouraged and you, in obedience, you will allow Christ to work in you, to dream big with God and to let God fight our battle, spiritual battle, and win against our enemies. Be just a tool in God's hands. Be obedient. Stay in the fight. Dream big with God to win the victory for you, for your family, for your children, your business, your community, America, and for the entire world. Never, never forget that you are a victor in Christ. See yourself as a victor and stay under God's wings to win this battle in Christ's power. Quit holding into this culture or its pieces. They don't fit you anymore. You are not supposed to um, be part of this culture, but part of God's army to be different, to be uh, soldiers in God's army and to bring light to this world. Have the courage to let the, the culture go away, the pressures or the temptations of the culture, to become who God made you to be in a time like this. Embrace God's truth to stand up, fight, and be victorious. And remember, nothing is forever in this world, not even our problems or troubles. The tyranny has a temporary power as long as we allow it to grow. And we, with God, we can fight and we can have victory. God is sovereign forever. In Christ, we are more than conquerors. We are victorious, and I hope you see yourself victorious. If you want to know how I stay in the fight, and how I win, every, I won every single battle in socialist Romania or here in America. Be strong, encourage to be strong and courageous. I encourage you to read my memoir, Saving My Assassin. You can buy it at my website, virginiaprodanbooks.com slash products slash book. You will be encouraged to let God make you bold and courageous. Obey him, dream big with God against 
all the circumstances and all the culture and the evil one will throw at you, all will tempt you with, remember, in Christ you are a conqueror. And conquer your fear in, in Christ. Arm yourself with God's strength and carry as he will carry you with humility to um, humanly impossible victories so the whole world can see God's hands in your life. 1 Chronicles 28, 28, 20 says, Be strong and courageous and do the work. Do not be afraid and discouraged. For the Lord, my God, is with you. He will not fail you or forsake you. So here is your homework for today, and I hope you send us your answer. What would you do differently today if you decide to operate by faith and not by fear? If you will obey God and let him use your life as a tool in his hands so he can win for us, for you, this spiritual battle. Remember your ability to conquer your fear in God's power, to stay in the fight and win with God is within your grasp. Do not settle for less. Please email us or go to virginiaprodanbooks.com slash contact and send us your, your answer or you can answer here on, on the um, podcast or uh, YouTube um, download. You can be a conqueror. You can be a victorious person. It's up to you what you want to do. But in this situation, in these circumstances that we see a lot around, I hope that my message to you, that with God you can win victories, will encourage you and will help you to let God use your life in obedience as you obeyed him and his directions to win this battle. We are facing every single day more and more um, um, suppression, discrimination, and even uh, isolation and persecution from the government for evil uh, forces. And we have to remember that we are here not to win arguments, but more than that, to win with God souls for Christ and to change the, the world and America in his power. And that is possible with for each one of us and under his power. I hope you will take into consideration everything that I share with you. You will obey Christ and you will be more than conqueror in your situation, in your life. Until next time, I hope you will watch um, our podcast Wednesday and Saturday at 10 o'clock Central Time on Podbean, Apple Podcast, Edify, and many other podcasts, and you can watch it on YouTube. You can support our podcast by uh, being um, a supporter and with Five, ten dollars, twenty-five, whatever you want, we will appreciate that. We appreciate your question, and we appreciate you sharing that, sharing our, our message with others. Until next time, may God bless you, and remember, dream big with God because you can win with God every battle. God never lost a battle. You are a conqueror, never, never a victor. So God bless you. Until next time, stay in a fight. Stay under God's wings and win with him victories in your life. God bless you.